Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Exotic Astrology, and I'm very excited today to continue with the series of remedies of planets. I had made videos on remedies for Sun and Moon in the year 2018, and they were very much liked by all of you, or most of you who were there that time. And you requested me to make videos on Jupiter, Venus, and their remedies. So finally, here it is. In numerology, number six is the number of Venus and therefore today I have made 15 remedies for Venus these are timeless remedies this uh, will help you at a mental level emotional level spiritual level and at a materialistic uh, level also all right so uh, but one disclaimer before you watch this video so uh, this video may not change your destiny in this life which means suppose uh, because many times people did those uh, sun moon remedies and then they told me that oh I did this remedy this didn't happen that didn't happen so uh, remedies are done so that you can uh, accept your destiny in this life and you can use your free will properly to do good things so that you have a better life later so uh, that's the disclaimer here I am giving so if you are suppose destined not to get married in this life and you want to get married so I cannot guarantee that if you do these remedies you will get married okay after six months or after five years or ten years but one guarantee I can definitely give you if if you uh, want to get married or if you have somebody or you are already married then uh, if you do these remedies then your uh, married life will definitely improve okay of course uh, certain things are beyond our control but uh, we will be good from our side okay and then we will see our relationships are also improving and this will hold true uh, the remedies for this video will hold true for every relationship that you have in life uh, by that I mean relationship with your mother your father your sister your husband wife daughter son anybody okay so therefore these are very crucial remedies and therefore let us start what is the first remedy 15 remedies so it will go very long and yeah, if you're new to the channel, then please subscribe to it. And if you want a consultation from me regarding your Venus, then you can always go down to the description section of my videos where you'll find the link to my website. And yeah, Visti Larson has also, uh, we, we both, have, he had done a series in Exotic Astrology. So if you want to see those videos, you can also search. Okay, you can type Exotic Astrology, uh, Visti Larson Venus. Okay, or you can type Visti Larson Venus. Okay. We did that in 2018 fantastic series just go and watch okay so now let's start with the first remedy this remedy is very crucial what is the first remedy? the first remedy is to appreciate and congratulate others gift something to others make others feel special share your happiness with others so many things in one line <laughs> what do you mean by appreciate and uh, congratulate what is appreciation appreciation means recognizing the hard work which somebody has put into something so suppose somebody gets a new degree so you should always go and appreciate that person instead of asking questions like oh degree is over so what's next masters job phd so instead of asking these questions don't go front don't go to the future go to the past go back and try to ask that person oh it seems you put a lot, a lot of effort in your bachelor's in your master's or in your PhD or any degree it can be some online degree or whatever it is okay or the person uh, got married the person has had a childbirth because uh, there are many people I know who message me they mail me they say that uh, they don't have money to pursue a degree so if you have a bachelor's degree in any field uh, you should consider yourself very lucky and there are many people who tell me they cannot do masters so if you have masters you are even luckier if you have a PhD wow you are really very lucky <laughs> many times people tell me that they desperately want to get married but they are not able to get married for some reason so if you are married then you are really lucky <laughs> many times people tell me that they want to get a job or they want or they want to start their own business but they cannot so if you know somebody who has a job or has their own business they are really lucky so you should go and appreciate them and congratulate them and uh, whenever you want you can uh, express your gratitude always all right so what is one thing that you should do one thing that I want you to do now is start from this video all right no no fancy lecture start from this video 
So write down in the comments one thing which you like or which you want to like or which you appreciate about somebody. It can be anybody. It can be your mother, father, sister, daughter, anybody. It doesn't matter. Okay, It can be somebody who you met 20 years back. All right, no issues with that. But just let's start with this video. So write it down in the comments. Okay, I like this thing about this person. Okay, that's very crucial so that you can develop this habit from now itself. All right. And I also made a video on uh, Jupiter and Venus. So anything good in this world is under the domain of Jupiter and Venus. Okay. So therefore, it's very crucial that you congratulate others when they have, uh, when they have uh, some success in life. Okay. Because when you congr congratulate them, they feel that uh, it's like getting a validation from somebody. Okay. That yes, you have really done a great job. So I appreciate others, uh, congratulate others when they've had some uh, some level of success. Okay, and whenever there is a special occasion, never shy off from giving a gift to somebody, and then always make them feel special. Okay, which means that uh, you should treat them as if uh, you are only with them. Which means that when you are sitting with somebody, you should not use your mobile. You should not be you know like looking here there you should not be yawning okay my guru used to say if you are sitting with somebody and you feel like yawning drink your yawn <laughs> which means if you're sitting with somebody and that person is talking something which you are not very interested in or you are very bored at least so at least till the time you're sitting with them don't you keep yawning okay because when you are yawning what does it signify it signifies that you are directly telling the person in the face you're talking nonsense or something which is very boring and I'm not interested in it. Okay. So that's not very nice. Okay. So therefore, uh, it's crucial that when you are with somebody, you stay only with that person. Okay. Give exclusive time. Don't keep looking at your mobile or uh, trying to show that you are doing a very big favor to that person. Okay. Be as if you have nobody to meet. Only that person alone. I have seen uh, great personalities, especially gurus I have met. Uh, although they are so busy, they have so many thousands of disciples. But when they are talking with you, they will uh, give all the time to you. And uh, they will make you feel as if you are the most important person in this world. So whenever you are sitting with somebody or talking with somebody, or it can be phone or WhatsApp or anything, okay, uh, try your best that you can make them feel as the most important person in this world or at least make them feel nice, feel good, feel special. Okay, This is a very big remedy for Venus. And also we should uh, try to share our happiness with others and celebrate their, uh, celebrate others' success also because uh, many times we get so much caught up with our own so-called uh, successes that uh, we forget that uh, others are also, others can also be successful. So, for example, uh, recently, uh, Nitin, uh, Nitin Kashyabji, his uh, channel that reached around 10 million views, okay, uh, 1 crore views. So, I had put a post in my channel and somebody told me uh, later on that, why are you celebrating his success? You didn't reach 10 million, it's he who reached. What about you? I'm like, <laughs> okay, it's, if it's not me, uh, then he has reached. So, why can't I celebrate his success? So, if I celebrate his success, my views won't go down. Okay. So maybe I reach 10 million someday and maybe he reaches 30 million, 50 million, 100 million. Maybe I reach 50 million, 1000 million. Who knows what happens? So the thing is, wherever you are, understand that appreciate, when you appreciate others, then uh, you will also feel very good inside. Okay. And then whatever you do comes back as a dint of karma. So it means the more you appreciate others, the more you will see that people also appreciate you. Okay. Now, the next remedy, and this is very crucial, number two, point number two is take darshan of God, draw, draw pictures, learn about Ambarish Maharaj, Bali Maharaj, and learn from the eighth canto of Srimad Bhagavatam. So, Venus represents anything which you see, the sight, okay. So, therefore, uh, people, because Venus is a benefit, so everybody likes to uh, see good things. It also represents uh, the sense of smell, okay. So, therefore, it's very crucial that uh, you regularly see the form of God. You take darshan of God, okay. Uh, so, for example, you can uh, see Lord Krishna's photo or if you are inspired by Ram or Vishnu or Shiva or Hanuman, whoever, whichever deity inspires you the most. 
uh, you all you should that's the first thing you should do in the morning is you should take darshan of the deity because that will really help you to uh, internalize uh, that deity inside your consciousness okay you can keep that deity photo as your wallpaper okay in your laptop or in your mobile in your ipad in your iphone or samsung or whatever it is because by the time you will uh, always be seeing that deity okay and that will greatly enhance your spiritual uh, progress and always remember venus gets exalted in the sign of pisces which is the sign of uh, spirituality which is the sign of moksha it is the sign of emancipation is the sign of liberation finally all right and even lord krishna says in the gita anta kale cha mameva smaran muktva kale varam all right which means whatever thought you have at the end of your life that will decide your next destination which means venus is the planet which will take you from this life to the next life wow something which you have never heard maybe but these things are there in the bhagavad gita okay so venus represents your uh, desires material desires okay so whatever desire you have if you cultivate it doesn't represent material desire necessarily it represents any desire okay so if you cultivate spiritual thoughts spiritual desires then as krishna says in the gita yad gatva anani vartante tabhama param mama so you will go back to my, you will come back to my abode and after once you come back you won't ever return from my abode okay yad gatva nani vartante tab dhama param mama so therefore uh, you should all, always uh, and this another script uh, shloka in the scriptures which says you know antakale narayana smriti so this means that at the end of your life if you can think of lord narayan then antakale narayana smriti means you will uh, reach his abode you will go to the vaikuntha planets you won't take birth again in this material world okay where you again have to go through a b c d then bachelor's masters phd marriage then maybe divorce sometimes or child birth and then again you die right these things are not required if you now uh, think of lord narayan at the end of your life but for that your life has to be backed up with uh, spirituality okay without without that you cannot just artificially claim that uh, oh i will think of lord narayan at the end of my life during my death and then i will go back to the spiritual world okay it does it doesn't happen so therefore it's very crucial that you use your sense of sight properly okay then what is the yeah and you can also read about ambarish maharaj He is is a very interesting character in the Shrimad Bhagavatam. There is a shloka, you know, Savai Mana Krishna Padara Vindayo, and uh, you will find him in the Shrimad Bhagavatam. So you can go to Google and type Ambarish Ambarish Maharaj Shrimad Bhagavatam. Okay, you will get stuff to read about him. Then you can also read about Bali Maharaj from Shrimad Bhagavatam, eighth canto. Okay, it's very crucial. You can read and you must read. What is the third remedy? The third remedy is. you should always reciprocate with others to whatever extent you can because venus is the uh, mool trikon sign of venus is libra libra means you give something they give something or they give something you also give something <laughs> all right so <clears throat> therefore always uh, try to activate libra in your horoscope okay which which means uh, irrespective of your ascendant or moon sign or where your venus is where your ascendant lord is always try to reciprocate with people whenever you feel that you have got something from somebody try to reciprocate in some form or the other okay the, uh, it doesn't have to be in that form uh, alone it can be in some other form also okay so somebody has offered you some help maybe some guidance so then you can uh, then it's not necessary that you also have to give them some guidance you can give some financial contribution some financial help or some donation you can do or somebody has given you uh, some emotional comfort then you can also give some uh, uh, some advice on their career okay if, if their career is not going well or if you have a business opportunity you can try to help them because maybe when you were down emotionally this this person helped you to get out of it or gave you so much comfort okay or you if you have connections if you uh, can help others by your connections then you can help because uh then they they might also help you sometimes when you are in need okay and therefore uh, try to reciprocate with others if you feel that you have got something always try to give back because the more you give back the more you will get actually 
okay and the more you hold the more you keep you you will be suffering you will be miserable you will be empty okay so the the best thing to do regarding venus is always to give when you get something so your your life should be like a mirror so if somebody has given you something then always reflect back okay and i have seen people in uh, different spiritual communities they they are the most happiest the most blissful people why because they are always giving actually and pisces is also the sign of selflessness where you just give without any expectations all right so therefore try to be selfless and try to do things more for people to whatever extent possible now you cannot uh, go on just giving everything to everybody i mean you have to think of yourself also that's fine but to whatever extent possible try to help others all right this will this will radically change your life okay because uh, my guru used to say if you uh, take care of others problems then god will take care of your problems <laughs> Okay, so that doesn't mean you become irresponsible with your own life and you go on taking care of others' problems. Okay, this means you sort out yourself first, and then you go out and help others. All right, that is the third remedy which is there. Number four, wear clean clothes every day and keep uh, keep your mind very clean. Have clean thoughts. Okay, so what do you mean by this? Wear clean clothes every day. So. this means ideally if you have uh, there are many uh, principles to this uh, let me see how much i can cover in this so ideally it is said if you have uh, if you are wearing a particular cloth uh, then uh, you should not wear it the next day okay without washing so uh, generally they say if uh, also if you have slept in it if you have taken day sleep then also you are not supposed to wear that okay because that's contaminating that's uh rahu and saturn energy because when you are sleeping your body has nine holes which are always uh, secreting uh, dirty substances in your body okay uh, to to your clothes so therefore uh, you should wash those clothes and wear new clothes okay and uh, it's good if you can take bath at least two times a day for sanyasis it is mandatory that we must take bath three times a day but for a general person now uh, it's recommended that uh, at least if they can take bath two times a day okay once during the morning brahma muhurt time and one after you have taken lunch okay so that is something which if you do you will see your life has changed radically also just these small lifestyle changes nothing fancy nothing very big very simple i am saying and uh, also you should keep your mind clean clean thoughts you should have okay to whatever extent possible now you may get bad thoughts so for example you may get uh, lusty thoughts like you want to enjoy with some member of the opposite sex or you may get angry on somebody or you may think oh this person told me like this and you know, i want spare this person how dare he say like this? you may become envious jealous or you may uh, you may uh, lament for the things which you lost okay you you may regret certain things which did not happen or you may be hankering i want this i want this i want this okay so you will see whatever uh, the kind of thoughts that you have uh, will manifest in your surrounding so if you have bad thoughts your surroundings will be very dirty you will see that and similarly if your surroundings are very dirty you will see that uh, you are having very bad thoughts okay so the first thing you should do is when you get up from your bed you should make your bed yourself okay uh this also uh, is very much recommended in the ashram actually okay and if you are sleeping in a chatai you should uh, take off your chatai and mop that place it's very important okay and this if you wear fresh clothes every day and then if you uh, keep clean thoughts then your mind will naturally be clean you will be able to interact better with other people okay so this is a very crucial remedy for venus so and cleanliness is also under venus okay so if the more you are clean uh, externally and internally the more your venus will improve and the, to to the extent you are harboring negativity and uh, uh, you are staying in a dirty environment then uh, your venus is in trouble okay to that extent and also avoid associating people with with uh, those people who are dirty who are into on uh, intoxication or into illicit sex or into eating meat or into gambling especially these four pillars of sinful life whoever is indulging in all these four stay away from them okay that's very important otherwise 
your mental purity will also go down okay so if you imagine you are staying with uh, a guy who is always uh, if you are a man you are staying with another man who is always uh, discussing about the private parts of a lady so then uh, how in the universe will you maintain your mental purity okay or suppose you are a girl you are staying with uh, another girl who is just you know talking about you know just uh, going around enjoying with other men so how, how will you how will you maintain your purity how how in the universe can you be peaceful okay so choose your association very carefully okay that's very crucial that's very essential all right so then let's go to the next uh, number 5 yes uh, you can include creativity in your life you can include uh, arts and poems all right all these things are under venus so creativity you can if you like you can make your surroundings more creative you can uh, take up some creative hobby or you can start painting painting is under venus drawing arts all these things okay or if you like to write poems then poems is uh, the poems all the poems they are also under venus because they add beauty they add charm they add uh, uniqueness to your life okay so therefore you can do these three things and you can do them in your spiritual life also okay so if you uh, if you are a very good artist you can draw some photo of lord krishna or lord ram or vishnu or vaman dev or narsing dev or of lord shiva or ganesh whichever deity inspires you the most and then you can put them in your uh, bedroom or in your uh, drawing room in your dining room so many times people think that oh you should not put photos of deities in your bedroom no it's not like that you can put there's no harm okay uh, yeah so you, you can sing bhajans okay so that that will also really help you because venus is uh, all about getting absorbed okay that point will come later of course we'll discuss okay and then uh you can also uh, write poems on like you know these uh, there are so many acharyas who have written so many poems or about krishna or ram so if you uh if you want you can also write such poems they will also help you to improve your venus okay number 6 this is very important be absorbed in whatever you do and have a goal and focus in life because many times people uh i see that the reason why they want to be in a relationship with somebody or why they want to get married is uh, because they have a very empty boring and disgusting lifestyle which they think that some other person will come and magically change okay so it doesn't work like that so before you plan to get married or get into a relationship you have to understand that i must have a good life first of all good life doesn't mean everything is perfect good means i am giving my best okay i am giving my 100% so if that is not somebody who you are then you should think 10 times before getting married or getting into a relationship with somebody because when you get into a relationship what happens you share your life so if you are unhappy you will share that unhappiness to others and they will also become unhappier than they were before and their unhappiness will make you more unhappy okay so therefore it's very crucial that you uh, understand that you should have a focus in life and when i say for focus or goal i don't mean career okay many times people misinterpret focus or goal with career so then uh, people say that oh that means you are saying you should be very career focused no i'm not saying that you can, you should be career focused you can be career focused there's nothing wrong with that but many times you may feel that you want to do something else primarily out of your heart heart and your interest and then for money for career you have to do something else maybe you have to do some it job or some mechanical job which is also fine it will never happen that everybody will earn money through sources which they love to do it's not necessary that it should happen like that for everybody if it happens it's very good but uh, maybe you are a it engineer but maybe your uh, focus in life is to make beautiful paintings that is what gives you joy fulfillment happiness okay so that is something which you should always be focused on okay because there's a saying they say uh, you meet the one you love doing what you love should i repeat you meet the one you love doing what you love okay so many times people keep asking me that oh okay can you tell from my horoscope where i will meet this person uh, my future soulmate or my husband or wife or whatever whoever so i keep telling them that you you keep improving yourself you keep focusing on yourself harmonize yourself the with the energies of the universe and take life the way it goes 
try to see everything colorfully which means you try to see the positive in every situation and by that very sure one day you will also meet somebody who is also a reflection of who you are okay and then you will be at the same frequency and only that relationship can work because if somebody is at a different frequency uh, then you or you are at a different frequency then 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 what happens initially there may be some physical attraction but gradually you will see that relationship will build and then it won't sustain okay so whenever your relationship breaks understand that uh, there there has been a difference of frequency or polarity between okay now if it, there are other reasons like abuse or something i am not saying that or like uh, somebody cheated on you or something but but i am saying in general if you feel that your relationships never work then maybe uh, you need to work on yourself so take a break for two years three years okay many times people tell me they have uh, where they have had 10 uh, not 10 sorry more also sometimes sometimes like five six relationships in the past and none of them work none of them materialized into marriage or even if it materialized they got divorced so why did this happen so i said i tell them that well there can be many reasons we can keep analyzing but one thing which you need to make sure is you should ask yourself that uh, are you really happy yourself without that person okay if you are always crying if you are always miserable if you are always unhappy you are always complaining then nobody would like to be in a relationship with you in the long run okay initially there may be there may be physical attraction or passion but that will dwindle very soon okay within 3 to 6 months it goes away so therefore to it's very easy to uh, attract a relationship these days especially <laughs> but it's very difficult to maintain a relationship okay so these things will help you to maintain a relationship also not just attract okay because uh, nowadays uh, with these social media and uh, so many apps it's very easy to find people uh, have sex with them one night stand sleep with them and then tomorrow morning oh bye i am going home <laughs> all right so that's very dangerous so what is the next number 7 you should develop some amount of sense control okay limit your interactions with luxuries and the opposite sex and why do i say this because moon uh, this uh, moon gets exalted in taurus as you know and taurus is the sign ruled by venus okay so if you are indulging in luxuries too much okay now some amount there's a difference between uh, reasonable comfort and too many luxuries so comfort means you want a nice home or you know you want a nice bed to sleep you want a nice blanket you want a nice pillow that's fine these things are okay what some of you say oh i will uh, you know <laughs> some of somebody is in india and they say that oh i want to buy this blanket you know it is 5 uh, lakh rupees okay now you can buy if you are a billionaire there is no harm in buying uh, for you maybe a uh, 5 lakh rupees is just like uh, <laughs> it's nothing for you but the question is uh, do you actually need that okay so you can be luxurious if you if you have lot of money i am not against luxury but ask yourself that do you actually do you really need that does it actually satisfy the purpose so purpose of the blanket is to give you some heat and yes some softness and some luxury <laughs> but uh, do you need to spend 5 lakhs for that blanket okay so that way total up to maybe 6000 euros or 5500 euros or 6000 usd for a blanket there are people who buy such stuff you know i'm just giving an example i'm not insulting rich people or i'm not saying that you are just wasting money but what i'm saying is know your limits because if you over uh, utilize something then uh, that thing those things will not make you happy after a certain point of time okay and and uh, this goes for everything actually your food also because uh, if you are eating crap then you will feel crappy you will think crappy and you will look crappy actually so therefore if you want to uh, feel good think good look good uh, as most of the people tell me these days you know oh i want to look good feel good think good <laughs> so for that you should eat right things which means uh, you should uh, eat more you should eat more vegetables you should not eat too many of these Uh, fried items you know like with pastas and then pizzas and then all this you know like this fried items too much sugar and all this this, this will not do good to you okay 
So whichever area it is, you should have sense control because then your mind gets disturbed. Why? Because moon gets exalted in Taurus. Okay, and Taurus is the sign ruled by Venus. So you, you can have luxuries, you can have pleasures like sexuality, for example. Get married if you have a girlfriend or a boyfriend. Don't stay like that. Get married. Okay, marriage is allowed. It is sanctioned. Get married to one person and stay with that person lifelong. There's no problem. But don't keep hovering around like dogs from people to people every three months, every six months, every one year. There are people who do all this. I know them and they don't like to hear all this. So they will uh, hate me for saying this. But uh, if you if you are indulging in these kind of activities or any, any anything basically over indulgence, then that will not make you happy. Okay, That will destroy your Venus. So please chant this mantra. Om Namo Bhagwate Rishi Keshaya. This is a mantra for Lord Krishna because Krishna is Rishi Kesh. He is the controller of the senses. Okay, so if you chant this mantra 108 times every day, your mind will very much be under control. Okay, Om Namo Bhagwate Rishi Keshaya. Now, number eight, uh, try to develop qualities like Lakshmi Ji because Lakshmi Ji is very much related to Venus. Okay. Now, I, I won't go into the technicalities of what her tattva is and how she's related to Venus, but it's very crucial that you develop some of the qualities which Lakshmi ji has, okay? So, th this is even if you're a man or a woman, doesn't matter, okay? So, what are some of, <coughs> some of the qualities which Lakshmi ji has? She's very sweet, she's very gentle, she's very refined, she's calm, she's very peaceful, she's very adaptable, she's very agreeable, okay? So number one quality is she's she is very sweet and Venus also represents sweet things. Okay, so uh, whenever you are meeting somebody, try to try to be sweet with them. Okay, try to talk with them sweetly, then softly, being gentle. Okay, not 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 being too unpredictable. Suddenly you get angry. Suddenly you get so okay, these things are not good. Be, be gentle, very be be very refined. Venus represents the. Uh, refine things basically, okay, and anything which is very refined, which is very polished, okay. So be very refined, be nice, be courteous, be respectful to people, and be calm. Don't don't just keep keep agitating yourself and the other people also, okay. <laughs> because Krishna says in the Gita, uh, there are anudvegam karam vakyam satyam priyam hitam chayat. So I'm not able to recall the shloka exactly. But uh, this shloka says, you know, you should speak uh, speak in a way that does not agitate others' minds. Okay, Krishna gives four characteristics. Okay, so I am not able to recall that shloka now. But if you know, then please write it in the comments. Okay. So, uh, therefore, uh, make sure you do not agitate the minds of people. Okay. And then be adaptable. Adaptability is also Libra. So, sometimes plans may change and you may have to go somewhere else. So, have that adaptability. Don't be very stubborn and don't be very rigid, okay? Because whenever sun comes to Libra, he gets debilitated. Remember that, okay? So, you cannot be stubborn all the time, okay? Then, next thing I said, she Lakshmiji's quality, she is agreeable. Now, what does it mean to be agreeable? Agreeable doesn't mean to always keep saying yes, yes, yes all the time, 24 hours. But you can be agreeable in general. So, let me give you an example. Once, there was a group of friends and uh, in my school. Uh, there was one, one particular guy who will never agree to anything what anybody says. Okay, he will always disagree. Always say but, 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 but. Always say no, 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 no. You are wrong. This is not like this is like that. And nobody liked that fellow also. Okay. And uh, then then what happened? There was I remember once uh, another guy he came uh, to our class and he said. Oh my God! It's so hot today. You know, I'm burning actually. I'm sweating like anything. And then this guy ended up saying, ah, what do you mean it's hot? I disagree with that. It's very cold today. It's only 23 degrees. Now, it may be 23 degrees, but maybe that person came from a laboratory, the chemistry lab, and there's all these experiments going on. There is The temperature is very high or whatever. The person may have fever or there could be n number of reasons why that person is feeling hot. So, uh, you don't have to every time keep, uh, cutting people like no no you are wrong it's not like this it's like that you don't know anything you, this is not good that is not good okay so you can disagree with people but that also should be done with respect okay 
Now, of course, if somebody is fake, uh, spreading fake news, false propaganda, false information, then you need to counter. I'm not saying then you should uh, just keep your mouth shut. But in general, when you are talking with a friend or with some relative or with people in general, I mean, even if you don't agree, sometimes people will quarrel, Indians will quarrel. Which party is better? Is it BJP is better or Congress is better? Okay. So, uh, even if you are a Congress supporter, you don't like BJP, it's fine. If you are a BJP supporter, you don't like the Congress, it's fine. But don't kill your relationship in the name of politics or sports or anything like this, okay? I, I've seen these people doing all the time, so don't do that, okay? Then... The next thing is uh, take care of your pancreas, pancreas, because pancreas is under Venus. Pancreas is the organ which is there in your body, okay? That controls uh, insulin. It has alpha and beta cells and many, many other things with uh, secrets, other hormones also. So uh, insulin is the hormone which regulates blood sugars in your diet, okay? So therefore, it's very crucial that you... Uh, don't excessively consume consume sugar because if you consume sugar then gradually what will happen you will develop insulin resistance because the beta cells produce insulin and you the beta cells will get tired and you will get insulin resistance first then you will get diabetes uh, type 2 then you will get diabetes type 1 where your pancreas is not producing insulin anymore okay so it's good to be sweet it's good to be nice it's good to be uh, soft, but uh, make sure uh, you count on sugar, okay? So, uh, my guru used to say, desert once in a week, that's all, end of it. No more desserts, okay? So, if you want to have a cake or a pastry or gulab jamun, <laughs> or you want to have a jalebi or rasgulla, rabadi or kalakan and all this, you can have, but one time in a week, okay? Not not once in a day. You heard it wrong. It's once in a week. So if you if you take these things once in a week, you can take it in the weekends or and try to take it during the lunch time. Okay, you should not take all this during dinner. It's very dangerous. So because if sugar is out of control, then uh, you will uh, then you will get this hypoglycemia. Then gradually you will get hyperglycemia and all this. That is diabetes basically, okay? And then you 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 will lose your mental flow, focus, clarity. You won't be happy in life, okay, if you are having diabetes. So this is very crucial. You must take care, okay, that you do not destroy the pancreas by forcing them to secrete abnormal amounts of insulin, okay? And when you are about to indulge in sugar, always ask this question, uh, why am I eating this? What is that which is lacking in my life, which I am trying to compensate with sugar, okay? You will get an answer. Very sure. Now, the next thing is, every day morning you can take curd. Okay, that improves your Venus. Without salt, without sugar, any flavors. Not, not all these things which we find in Europe, especially. You know, flavored yogurt. These are the disasters actually. They are like poison actually. So much sugar is there. So much chemicals are there. It's horrible actually. Please don't take all this. Okay, so. You can take 300 grams or 250 grams of plain yogurt, dahi, every day morning, okay? So, after your breakfast, you can take, this will really help you and uh, that will help you to improve your venous also. Uh, if you have some problems like lactose intolerance, or this, then you don't have to take. But this, um, and during the afternoon, you can take buttermilk, chaach, okay? That also improves your Venus. And in the night, if you take milk, it also improves your Venus and it also improves your moon. Okay. So, uh, don't take curd or buttermilk in the night. Okay. Curd should not be taken in the afternoon also or worst to worst case in afternoon, but not after that. Okay. You should not take curd in the evening or buttermilk in the evening. It's very dangerous. Okay. Don't take. So, uh, according to Ayurveda, it's very dangerous to take curd in the night. Okay. It is... It's lethal actually to your body. Okay. So please avoid curd and buttermilk in the night. Curd morning, buttermilk afternoon, and in the night you take milk, okay, with some saffron. It it does wonders actually for you. You'll get very nice sleep. Number eleven. This is big, this is huge, this is very important. Preserve your semen. Don't uh, just waste it, okay. 
because many times uh, these days people they will watch pornography and adult material in the internet so the moment you lose your semen everything goes down okay so one drop of semen is made by 64 drops of blood so if you are just recklessly going on spilling it everywhere <laughs> then uh, your your overall life the happiness which you have your happiness index will go down okay you will feel more lethargic you will feel pain because uh, the dhas, uh, semen is dhatu actually okay so that is like the quintessence of blood as they say okay so it's very crucial that you don't waste it and you don't uh, keep watching adult material in the internet because these people think oh this is venus no that's not venus that's rahu it's stupid to say that watching adult material is venus okay venus means you are married to one person and you stay with that person lifelong that is venus no discussions no arguments nothing doing with that okay but if you are just like today you see somebody tomorrow you are seeing that person maybe then after some days or oh, that new <laughs> all right so then it will destroy your venus okay because uh, this shukra the semen is actually venus so if semen is lost then we are losing venus actually it's literally you are losing venus okay and uh, the moment uh, you lose your venus you will uh, you lose semen actually you, you you will become very morose actually and uh, when you see spiritual people when they control their uh, semen uh, the flow of semen uh, downwards and they uh, send it upwards that is known as urdhvaretas okay so that is why whenever you will meet a uh, spiritually enlightened or elevated people you will always see their faces like uh, glowing out of shine and it's like there's a beautiful aura around them that's the glow of venus actually okay people think that's jupiter no that's the glow of venus actually and jupiter is the knowledge and the wisdom which they provide okay so even if you are a atheist or you have nothing to do with god or spirituality it will help you to be focused in life okay if you are a student it's very crucial you follow celibacy because uh, i mean unless you are married okay so if you are like uh, below 25 or 22 23 around that age especially unless you are married because chanakya pandit says one of the criteria for a student is he should follow he or she should follow celibacy because if you are losing semen your clarity and your focus will be very low then you cannot concentrate on studies okay and even if you are married and if you are wasting semen then it's very likely that you will have an extramarital affair with somebody okay um and this is even this is even important for women in fact they also should not indulge in all this okay this is not only for men this is for both the genders okay all right what is the next <clears throat> number 12 you should help people to get married or if they have a problem in their marriage you should help them to sort it out okay so this does not mean that you go on uh, poking your nose around everybody's marriage or relationships like people keep doing sometimes I, i don't mean to say that but if somebody is <clears throat> so if you feel that somebody is really down some of your friend uh, friends uh, their relationship or their marriage is not working or you should try your best to help them out okay or if somebody is about to get married and they are uh, needing some financial help then also you can support or you can uh, support means uh, not just giving them some uh, fancy gift or you can ask them that okay you are shifting to a new place you you suppose your friend is getting married okay then um, you can tell them that okay in your home uh, if you need this furniture this bed i will i will uh, contribute financially for that bed okay But whatever the amount is instead of giving them some you know fancy unnecessary stuff in their wedding you can contribute like this some tangible contribution you can offer which will actually help them okay to get to get settled in their marriage or uh, maybe they are going for a honeymoon then you can also sponsor a part of their trip something like this you can do or you can give clothes and all this also i mean not that everybody is gifting clothes so then it becomes unnecessary something which will actually help them okay not just giving some luxurious item okay something which actually will contribute to their life okay so that you should do that will actually Uh, elevate your venus because their relationship energy is going to be enhanced by that okay and by that uh, that karma will backfire and it will help you also okay so karma backfires always either good or bad now 
and yeah in this point only don't don't get jealous or don't keep ever ever doing gossip especially okay so sometimes many times i know people who uh, who like to gossip about couples who are having relationship problems okay so therefore understand that if you are if you are gossiping with somebody else about somebody then that person will gossip about you with somebody else okay so instead of gossiping oh you know they are having a problem actually maybe they will have a breakup maybe they will have a divorce or maybe they will separate somebody it's it's very tempting to do all these gossips okay so um, therefore please avoid gossip and instead try to help okay and if there is some gossip going on don't participate in that become disinterested show that you are not interested get out of it okay that's very crucial because if you are uh, becoming jealous or you know i am single or is that person married look uh, his girlfriend is so beautiful look his uh, her husband is so handsome or husband is so rich or husband has so many connections or you know or this his his girlfriend is very intelligent my girlfriend is dumb so don't get into all this comparison jealousy whatever is there in your karma only that you will get okay by being jealous of others you won't improve your karma in fact you will degrade it downgrade your own karma okay so if you feel your karma is not good in area of relationships then don't make it worse okay by doing all this number 13 you should uh, donate on fridays or to temples of goddess lakshmi or to uh, any lady temple uh, not temples or any place where there is any uh, uh, thing going on related to ladies or anything like this because venus represents goddess lakshmi or ladies in general okay and also friday is the day of venus number 14 you can fast on special occasions like parshuram jayanti on fridays on shashti tithi chaturdashi tithi because Shasti and Chaturdashi; these two tithis are under Venus. Okay, so you can fast on these days; they they will be very helpful for you. And number fifteen, the last, uh, you should treat your spouse with love, care, and respect, and you should make them feel special. And you should also respect other members of the opposite sex. Okay, uh, especially if you have sisters, because Venus represents sisters. Okay, for a man, it represents the wife. and uh, therefore uh, and for women it can also represent the husband depending on what you are uh, looking for in a man okay and for everybody it can represent sister okay or gen in general opposite sex members or in general ladies okay so therefore uh, if you are married then uh, you should uh, really give quality time and attention to your spouse okay otherwise your venus may not be very good <laughs> Okay, so these are the fifteen ways by which you can improve your Venus. And one mantra that I suggested was Om Namo Bhagavate Rishi Keshaya. That mantra is very important. All right. And apart from that, there are thousand other other remedies. And maybe I will make a part two of this video after one, two, three, or maybe five years. And I will also make videos on remedies for Mars, Saturn, Jupiter, or all, all this. Okay, and if you have not watched the Sun and Moon remedies, you can find it down in the description or maybe in the comments. Okay, I will pin it here. All right. Thank you very much for your patience. And if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it. And if you want a consultation from me regarding your Venus, you can go down to the description section where you will find the link to my website. All right. And yes, God is there with you all the time. Just look to Him, and you will find Him.